right, this is the Y modem or Wii modem. And what it is is a Wi-Fi modem that you plug into the user port on the far left side, the back side of your Commodore 64. Not the cartridge port, but the user port. And what this enables your Commodore 64 to do is it, it this en enables it to use a modem. You can use terminal emulation software such as uh, D-Term uh, or Z-Term, Nova-Term, stuff like that. And you can log into uh, BBS, um, just pretend like it's <laughs> the 80s and go looking around and and, and that sort of thing. I discovered this item by listening to Rob O'Hara's You Don't Know Flack podcast, uh, the episode uh, Thanksgiving 2016. And he was excited about purchasing this product and getting uh, going back in and trying out BBSs and he kind of made me excited and I wanted to try to do the same thing. And so you can purchase this over at the cbmstuff.com and it's approximately $55 plus shipping. And what, what it has on the device, it has an LED uh, right here. And that LED uh, changes colors depending upon the status. Like it, it might be amber if you don't have a connection to a Wi-Fi network or, or blue if you do have a connection. And then it also has a display which actually prints uh, very clear text such as your router is not connected or you are connected to a router, or there are updates available and that sort of thing. And there's no other visible buttons on this device that I can um, discern. I know there's a, a, another competing product out there that has a physical uh, button on here that does something. But this one doesn't look like it has anything like that. And then, so this, this item can be purchased again over at cbmstuff.com. For $55 plus shipping and let's go take a look at it all right so let's plug in the Wii modem into the back of my daily driver Commodore 64 there we go So now it's plugged right in alongside my 1541 Ultimate. And let's power up everything. All right, so I powered on my Commodore 64. I got the Wii, the Wi-Fi modem plugged in, and I'm going to attach my image. Which is here. And I prefer to use the CCGMS V6. So here it comes. Okay, so I'm going to do an at command. ATI to get the information off the modem. Once you've connected to your Wi-Fi the first time, it remembers your Wi-Fi settings, your SSID, and your password. I don't want to go through resetting my Wi-Fi modem because <laughs> it took me a while to get this part working. But the manual states that there are a couple of ways to get your Wi-Fi set up on the modem and the first way is to use the command ATWPS which I'm not going to hit return on but you have to do that in conjunction with your router push the button on your router and then use this command and it will sync up the other command is the AT asterisk N to show you the available networks that 
that are on your on your that the Wi-Fi modem sees and you can see that uh, zero there is available and so what you do if if you uh, wanted to connect to one of these you can either uh, type in at asterisk SSID space one of the names like my Verizon right there you know VERI Verizon XT1580 comma the password and that will connect it and you hit return or you can do AT asterisk NS zero comma the password and then hit return and that will connect that zero but since I'm already connected and my let's see I should be able to do some at commands. Let's see. ATDT Google.com port 80. Okay, so I'm not connected. So I'm going to do that. AT star N and then AT star N star ns0 enter now since I don't have a password I could just hit enter but you could put at asterisk ns0 comma the password so anyway now I should be able to do the atdt google.com port 80 and I'm connected to Google and this is right in the instructions they say you to hang up you press the plus key three times in a row and you should see the OK and then you do ATH so that hangs you up from that now I found a website that I utilize to connect to bulletin boards and let me pull that up it is cbbsoutpost.servebbs.com and so it lists right now on my screen I have 39 BBS online boards and earlier today I, I connected to a, a BBS and I signed up and it was located in Canada so I'm going to try to reconnect with that one so let's let's do it so all you do is you go ATDT to dial and then the address and instead of a phone number like you would in the old days instead of a phone number we're going to put in the address which is on the website so C-E-N-T-R-O-N-I-A-N -E dot serve beer dot com colon sixty four hundred and that's all on the website and you see it hey we're on a BBS. How sweet is that? Remember, yes. G Ray Defender. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be case sensitive. Well, let's try it. So anyway, yeah, you have to go through these steps, and I haven't actually been... I did hit A to apply, but it says allow him to 24 hours. I'm just going to go for the first one. ATDT. Sib. Dine. DNS. Dot org. Port. 6404. Wrong number is the name of the the BBS. 
It's funny it says connected at 1900 baud. And you, I can just see <laughs> spending so much time on these UVSs, or it, it's really it's a neat thing to do. And see, I'm not a member here, so I'll just see enter to log on. I really don't want to sign in right now, or I don't have a, a log on at this point. Just kind of hang up. Now going back to the manual, there's all of these commands that you can do. Um, and I'll probably have to record that on the other screen here. LED 5 9 Let's see. One. That doesn't seem to work. Oh, I guess it did. Yeah, it did turn it down. Oh, AT. AT LED nine. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that that really works. Um, AT AT LED one. Okay, very cool. And then there's AT reset to reset the modem. AT rescan. AT update to update the firmware. All right. I thought I would end this video with a quick demonstration of the manual that you can download over at www.cbmstuff.com which covers the entire Wii modem and I don't know what I would have done without this uh, manual here uh, I probably would have, wouldn't have been able to make this video so this thing it, it it covers everything from the installation to the the usage and even has an FAQ section at the back of the manual so in order to uh, some of the things I didn't talk about in this video when I forgot to mention was that in order to use this product you need a software and you need to use a terminal program like Zterm, CCGMS, Novaterm and you have to set the program's baud rate to 2400 baud. It also says here in the manual that ASCII mode is required when setting up your SSID slash passphrase. You can check your settings on the device by typing ATI and then hitting return on the keyboard and it should come back with something like this and it should show you your baud rate is 2400 baud and then the very next thing it goes into talking about is setting up your your internet connections this is a Wi-Fi modem so you have to be able to connect it to your your Wi-Fi network one thing that I noticed was uh, it does not uh, work with an or at least I couldn't get it to connect to any of them I couldn't get it to connect to my Wi-Fi networks um, that were hidden or that were visible. The only way I was able to get this thing to connect, um, unfortunately, was to use my cell phone and turn it into a Wi-Fi hotspot and turn off the password. So I'm not sure what the problem was, but I didn't spend that much time. Once I got it working on the, the cell phone hotspot, I was in business. <laughs> that was all I needed. And, and so... There's this command you can use that I talked about on the video, the ATWPS, and you hit return. And that's supposed to work in conjunction with your router. There's a button you press on the router, and I didn't want to go through that. I'm not even sure if my router has a WPS um, button on it. And so what I did was instead is I demonstrated the, this feature. Um, I don't want to go through this a second time here, so I'm going to pass through this really quickly. But these are the directions for connecting your your uh, Wi-Fi network and then I went through this on the video here how to once you do get a connection how to test and make sure that it's working and then the manual goes on to talk about the supported at commands you know AT for attention ATAs to answer uh, incoming calls so this means that your your Wi-Fi modem 
can actually answer calls. You could probably set up your own BBS with this. And so there's a lot of uh, commands here. I'm going to scroll through most of them. ATH to hang up, AT help for the help menu, help exclamation for a detailed help menu, ATI exclamation for detailed information. And then this is the one I demonstrated, ATLED and then a number to show to turn up turn up or turn down the brightness on the device on the LED. And and then after the AT commands, you get shown the ATS commands, uh, which I didn't, I didn't end up using these. And then at the bottom of the manual, there's a FAQ. Can I use the Wii modem for connecting to a BBS? Yes, if the BPS is use, BBS is using a Telnet connection. Can I use the Wii modem for operating a BBS? Yes, ATA and auto answer are supported. Can at commands be sequential? No, not currently. How much power does the Wii modem use? I would have never thought to ask that. What are the LED colors and what do they mean? Ah, so this is pretty cool. Red means no Wi-Fi connection. Yellow is a command mode. Green is online. Teal is a command mode. Purple is update mode. And white is WPS mode. So the difference between the yellow command mode means you're not connected to a server and teal command mode means, means you are connected to a server. Is the Y modem capable of more than 2400 baud? There's a detailed answer. And so, and there was just a few questions there. This is a great little manual and it's available over at cbmstuff.com and it's invaluable resource for using this tool.